All right, guys, it's Friday night, and it's time for another episode of Bombing Run. And my thing is just going crazy. Let's kill that off. Oh, my gosh, computer technology. Who would ever think it's glitch? Right? Oh, it always glitches. But anyways, welcome to another episode of Bombing Run, where three comedians go head to head to head, compete against each other to see who's going to be Joker Ace first place, second, and third. Joker Ace gets to be on my Saturday show, This Justin News Comedy Club, at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 o'clock Central, 5 o'clock Mountain, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. I don't know why I list all those times, but most people don't know how to tell time on a clock, and I think the world should be all on the same time. So we all should be on the same time. Don't care what time of the day it is, we all should be at the same time. It'd make it easier, right? I think. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Be perfectly fine. You know, it could be midnight at, you know, it'd be noon over on the other side of the world. I don't think it really would matter. No. Um, with that being said, I want us to give a big warm welcome to my co-host, Sergeant Arn. Please give her a big round welcome. She's always keeping this uh, this plane flying high, and so I don't bomb. Also, I I have spared no expense, folks. I know you guys are waiting in the in the Zoom room, the the waiting room. But I had to get this judge in. It was a little tough considering I'm inland a little bit, not quite like next to St. Lake Sinclair. So please welcome Judge Ship, everybody. Woo, 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 woo. Judge Ship. Judge Ship. Yeah, a ship. A comedy ship. A, night, a cruise ship of comedy is what I was told. Uh, so it's been, around the, uh, it's been around the seven seas. It's heard a lot of jokes. A lot of bad puns about ships. I don't know, but uh, yeah. Uh, well, what can I say? I get all kinds of things. I had a rock. I've had a couple ghosts, and now I have a ship. Now I have a ship. Oh, so let me mute my other stuff going on here, and let's get started tonight with our first comedian of the night. Please welcome to the stage. Star night, everyone. Woo, 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 woo. Well, hello, everybody. Um, I'm Star Knight. And when Aaron asked me to come tonight, and thank you, Aaron, um, I said, sure, as long as I have like a brick wall and I could wear weird earrings and huge glasses. <laughs> you nailed it, Aaron. Thank you. Um, and I bet you guys didn't expect to see your Nana here tonight, did you? Yeah, I bet you didn't expect to see your Nana here. I really didn't expect to see your Nana here either. Um, I think I pushed the wrong Zoom button, but you know, here I am. <laughs> you know, Nanas can say bad words. Are you ready? I can say a uh, doo-doo, I can say. T T. <laughs> I can say, "Hey, Nana, I'm dropping out of college. I'm moving in with you now." <laughs> <laughs> but you know, uh, all right, I got a little something to tell you. Uh, I've been married for 42 years. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have been pretty loyal for the past 10. <laughs> okay I, i'm just joking really more like eight and a half <laughs> you know I, I like to kind of keep it spiced up so the other day uh, i asked my husband i said hey honey do you want to go to like a nice place where they like rub you down like four or five women um, do you want to maybe drive a Lamborghini, like a really fast one? Do you want to go to Ikea and buy furniture? <laughs> <laughs> so here we are in Ikea. We bought a bookcase and we're putting it together at the bottom of the box. There is a handy dandy divorce manual. 
(laughs) (laughs) Nothing says divorce like Ikea furniture. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm like, hmm, wouldn't wouldn't you really rather have a hand job? Well, I didn't know you couldn't do that in the Ikea store, okay? (laughs) 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 Well, so the security guard takes me to the back of the store and he hands me a a kit to build my own cell. And then he brought me some Swedish meatballs. I had to put those together too. (laughs) And then he says, all right, it's time for you to go, Ms. Knight. Um, Be safe, stay out of trouble. And where did you park your car? So, you know, things are going pretty well for me. Um, besides that, I'd say I, um, except really kind of the other night, my husband, he, he can be kind of mean a little bit. You know what, you guys, he, he made me break up with three boyfriends. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I don't know. He didn't know about the other eight of them. <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right i hope you guys have a good night thanks for the fun <laughs> all right guys let's give it up for star night everyone and star where can we find you on social media uh instagram very funny star very funny star and star you are doing a uh, show at uh, comedy chateau on june 9th correct you're ro- producing uh, it it's what june 19th thank you for june asking 19th. yes please come uh, if you're out in the L.A. Hollywood area, go out and do that. If you're on the East Coast, like some of us are, we'd probably be a long ways from getting there. But it would be fun to get out there eventually. I know that would be great. Please. Oh, yes. All right. Now, apparently this judge ship is not partying around. It just It's not a cruise ship. It's just a party ship. It's, a party, it's not even a party bus. It's a cruise ship. I, I, no, we don't have a piano lounge in the show. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> you know, that's the problem. And the problem is I am park, double parked the ship outside the house. I've blocked <laughs> off all traffic, all traffic. No one's getting through or out. I know the cops want to get down here, but they can't even get down the street. So <laughs> good luck, cops. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Star. And apparently, the the ship says they're ready to anchor anchors away. Let's go to the next comedian. All right, let's go to the next comedian, everybody. Please welcome the stage, Kevin Brady, everybody. Woo, 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 woo. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I uh, I got some kind of exciting news. My wife and I are looking at buying a house. Woo! That's, uh, yeah. Kind of scary. It's, it's really scary because I've come to realize that we want totally different things when it comes to a house. Like my wife absolutely needs a full modern kitchen, stainless steel appliances, dishwasher, prep area. I don't know why she needs this. I've only ever seen the woman make salads, honestly. <laughs> it, it feels like it's overkill. Uh, as for me, as for me, I'm more focused on what's going out of my body. I need at least two bathrooms. Like I need at least two bathrooms. I'm, I'm, I'm 35. All right. Middle age is on the horizon. I'm going to have to go for prostate exams soon. I can't be fighting over a toilet in my own home because a gland in my butt decides how much of my bladder gets emptied and when, you know, I'm a comedian. I don't make enough money to replace my wardrobe that frequently. But I also know I need an adult-sized bathtub. Hmm. I need an adult-sized bathtub. I'm a man of leisure. I enjoy a bath now and again. And living in apartments, I've come to realize that 
no bathtub in an apartment was made for anyone over the age of 10. You know, I measured my bathtub. I measured my bathtub. It's four feet long by two feet wide by 18 inches deep. The same dimensions as a child's casket. You know, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, you know, I understand, you know, I'm, I'm five foot 10, 200 and <clears throat> pounds. <laughs> I'm an American sized man, you know, I need some room. And as an American sized man, I understand there are things I need to keep in mind. You know, I take a, an aspirin in the morning to help with joint pain. I always keep the de uh, deodorant with me in case I need to reapply during the day. I never wear white shirts because I know I'm going to get chocolate on myself. <laughs> Even if I don't eat chocolate, because I have a strategic chocolate reserve hidden in my closet that my wife doesn't know about because she insists on making salads with every meal. But <laughs> I've never had to worry about baths until very recently. And I just, I gotta be honest with you guys. I got stuck in the bathtub last week. Um, <laughs> so I was in the tub, good start. And I reached out for my loofah and I just slipped. I, I just slipped. My arms went underneath me. One of my legs went straight up the wall. The other one kicked back underneath me. I'm giving myself a rectal exam with my big toe. <laughs> it's an awful time to realize you're into butt stuff. But I, I'm hopelessly stuck. I'm calling out to my wife to come help me. And she doesn't respond. I was calling for five minutes. Do you know where she was? Hmm. In the living room. <laughs> On the laptop. <laughs> watching Survivor. <laughs> she couldn't hear me screaming over Jeff Probst. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm stuck in the tub. I'm fighting for my life. No tribal council, no immunity idols. My ass is getting voted off this island. <laughs> and the only thing separating me from the hereafter is a North Jersey apartment door and my Wi-Fi. That's it. <laughs> I, I just I came to accept. You know, this might be it. This is how I how, how I die. <laughs> how will I be remembered? Will I be remembered as a good friend, a, a good husband, a funny comedian, or will I be remembered for getting stuck in the bathtub? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the William Howard Taft of comedy because what. When you think of William Howard Taft, of course you don't think of the Man Elkins Act of 1910, which helped regulate interstate train fares. <laughs> no, it's for getting stuck in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I managed to get myself out. I, I tell my wife what happened. And like any good spouse, she had a way of putting things in perspective and calming me down. She said, honey, I understand. It's okay. I'm sorry I didn't hear you. I know it was scary. But you're out. You're okay now. Now dinner's almost ready. <laughs> Would you like vinaigrette or ranch, Mr. President? <laughs> That's going to be my time tonight. Thank you very much, Bob and Ron. All right. Let's give Kevin Brady a big round of applause. And Kevin, where can we find you on social media? You can find me right up here at Kevin H. Brady on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, do not look for him on Facebook because he spells it with some other letters and consonants and vowels that do not exist in the English language. The cat walked across the keyboard. <laughs> That's obviously that. Hey, do you, Kevin, are you doing any live shows right now? Uh, I got a couple things lined up. Uh, I'm going to be at, uh, my goodness, I'm going to be uh, perform performing on the Funniest New Comedians in New England in Portland, Maine in July on the 8th. Uh, and I'm going to be at Mulligan's Lounge in Hoboken, New Jersey on July 14th. So if you're in Maine or New Jersey, come on up. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. We, we got both coasts covered. We got Star over in California and we got Kevin over on the East Coast doing some funny stuff. That's awesome. And you know what? I think the tribe has spoken, Kevin. Oh, no. Yeah. No, wait, wait. The, 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 wait a minute. Okay. The ship has steering another course okay so the judge ship is ready for our last contestant of the night i want you to please welcome to the stage tom craft everybody woo, 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 woo. how's the bone doing 
All right. Okay, silence from everyone else. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's all good. That's how, that's how I like to start it. Let's, let's uh, kind of build up. I'm not doing too good. Um, my girlfriend dumped me. That sucks. Aww. I'm not surprised, though, because I never had the best relationship track record. All of them never worked out. I used to be in a long-distance relationship with this one girl. I hit her with my car. She flew 50 feet. Hmm. <laughs> there was this other girl I dumped because she was a complete moron, complete idiot, no common sense whatsoever. We got invited to this baby shower. The invitation said, no kids allowed. So she got an abortion. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I mean, on the bright side, we might have missed the baby shower, but we did get to go to a very nice bloodbath. Very nice, nice venue and everything. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know why this kind of stuff happens to me. You know, I'm a pretty weird guy. I do weird things. I associate with a lot of weird people. Actually, my best friend is actually a fruit salesman. Poor guy got shot in the head. Now he's a vegetable. <laughs> All right. The vegetable humor works. It's yeah. Bad. <laughs> Today's Atheist Pride Day, if you guys didn't know. Every day's Atheist Pride Day. Those people are so full of themselves. But um, I want to take a time, a moment to talk to you guys about religion. Now, I'm Muslim. A lot of people can't tell. Not sure why. <laughs> uh, I'm like an undercover cop, except... I won't, I'll only bust you for the stuff that doesn't really matter, only the small things. Like, if you're speeding in a school zone, I won't care. But if you're drinking, I'll notice. I'll read you the rules and regulations from a book you don't care about. <laughs> I think it's my name that confuses people, though, because Tom doesn't scream, I'm Muslim. Tom screams, what power? <laughs> Ironically, you shouldn't scream either of those in public. I just got to kill two birds with one stone, just like Abraham did in the Bible. <laughs> okay. Well, Tom isn't even my real name. A lot of people don't know that. It was actually Thomas, but I had to change to Tom because my relatives kept spelling it wrong. <laughs> A lot of people get really pissed off at me when I tell them I'm Muslim. A lot of people get really upset. My gay friend got pit was, was very upset when I came out of the closet he was like so you hate the gays huh i'm like no man you know do whatever you want i don't care but he kept prying he kept trying to get something out of me he kept trying to he switched the questions around he was like so what does your religion think about the gays i was like you got me there but uh let me put it this way where you're going you'll think everyone's hot no. it was all implied it was implied <laughs> okay everyone keep your hats on it's fine it's fine <laughs> It's not just my homosexual friend who's tense. It's not just him. It's everyone's tense. A lot of tension nowadays, especially racial tension, especially. I'm getting shocked by where I'm finding all this racial tension, though. I was at the grocery store checkout line, and I put down one of those checkout dividers, and this black guy in front of me freaks out. He takes the divider, throws it across the room, starts going on this rant. He's like, what's with all the segregation? Are my groceries not good enough to touch your groceries? Are my apples not good enough to touch your oranges? The guy's freaking out for a good half an hour, just making this whole scene, this whole, this whole thing. Eventually, though, everything worked out. He ended up paying for my groceries. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are a good crowd, good crowd, lots of good responses. I want to try some crowd work. Anyone here have autism? Any autistic people in the audience? Must be nonverbal. <laughs> a psychology joke for you guys oh uh, i love a non-verbal audience just laughs captive audience no hecklers it's excellent it's wonderful mm. i think autistic people get away with way too much way too much like if i went out and robbed a bank everyone here would be like oh my god you're a thief we hate you if an autistic person however when goes out and robs a bank everyone here would be like oh my god that's pretty damn impressive Good for them, because <laughs> robbing a bank, because robbing a bank involves everything that they're bad at, bad at. They've got to blend in to get into the bank. When they're in the bank, they got to act threatening to get the money. And when the whole thing's said and done, they've got to go their whole lives unnoticed. <laughs> I mean, you'll never see a Ocean's Eleven movie. The, the closest we'll ever get to that movie is Ocean's Twenty One, and that's only because it's going to be composed mostly Down syndrome patients. <laughs> Oh, okay. I like that joke because it works on all parts of the spectrum. My girlfriend didn't like it, though. That's why she left me. Thank you guys very much. I'm Tom Kraft. I'm unemployed. It's very nice. Thank you. All right, let's give it up for Tom Kraft, everyone. And Tom, where can we find you on social media? 
at craft underscore Tom on Twitter. Oh, under oh, cool Twitter. So he's on Twitter. Uh, let's give Tom a job. Uh, he yes, could be please. like the yeah, he could be the greeter at like a restaurant, and he just could just just tell people what he thinks as they are walking through. Obviously, <laughs> that'll be interesting. Uh, oh, wait a minute, the restaurant just closed. I just seen that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm playing along. All right, thank you, Tom, so much. And now, well, the ship. No, the. Look, I know you thought you were like uh, the love boat, but you're just a ship that had comedy on it. You're a comedy cruise ship. All right, Sergeant Arm says, "Awesome, everyone. Let's give you everyone a big round of applause. Yeah, you're so great. And you know what? You can watch this back on this Justin News on YouTube. This will be back. They'll be on there later, either tonight or tomorrow. I do have a mic to go on around 10 o'clock, so I'm I'm actually going to go do something and see if I can bomb. Uh, it's always fun." <laughs> It's always fun to do. I'm doing a uh, red mic. If you haven't done that one, that's a fun one with uh, David Parsons and Charlotte Parker. Uh, it's at 10 p.m. Eastern. I believe it's 10 p.m. I hope it ain't any later than that. I'll fall asleep. It's called red mic. Oh, so, ship, judge ship. Uh, look, what? I, there's no shuffleboard. I mean, we got to get this. Oh my gosh. This was really hard, according to the judge ship. They're all good. Mmm. Okay. So, I am going to announce the winner and Joker Ace of tonight, who will be on my uh, future This Justin News Comedy Club show. The winner is Kevin Brady, everybody. Woo, 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 woo. All right, Kevin and his cat. Oh crap! We didn't we didn't plan for the cat. Uh, 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 oh, we're allergic. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It doesn't work that way through Zoom. <laughs> oh, you know what? The cat's funnier. So the cat will be a Joker Ace on Yay! this. Episode. Oh, thank you so much, Kevin. We'll talk to you later after the show and see what what date works for you. And second place tonight is and it was close according to the judge this was a tough decision star night everybody let's give it up for her yeah all right star and i encourage everybody who's on this show to come back and play again because there's always a different judge and tonight the third place winner is tom Kraft. let's give him a big round of applause for showing up for telling some jokes making us laugh and you know ha having a blast thank you tom for showing up and that Thank was you awesome. Me. You're cool. Thank you for being here. We're, it's always so much fun. And this is for fun. So just remember that the judge will give you notes if you want notes on what worked, what didn't work. And we all are here to help have help each other out and have a blast. So I encourage all of you to come back on. Kevin, this isn't his first time on Bombing Run. And, and so you guys keep coming back. We always have different judges. We always have some fun. So for me, Sergeant at Arms, and our judge, Judge Ship, this has been Bombing Run and an oddly funny production. Good night, everybody. Whoa, yeah, thank you guys so much. You guys rock. All right. This has been an oddly funny production.